my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. May the Lord show you his favor and give you peace and health as you listen to the word of God. This is Gospel reading for today, Catholic Mass readings and Gospel reflection for July 7, 2024, 14th Sunday in Ordinary Time. First reading, a reading from the prophet Ezekiel, chapter 2, verses 2 to 5. As the Lord spoke to me, the Spirit entered into me and set me on my feet, and I heard the one who was speaking say to me, Son of man, I am sending you to the Israelites, rebels who have rebelled against me. They and their ancestors have revolted against me to this very day. Hard of face and obstinate of heart are they to whom I am sending you. But you shall say to them, Thus says the Lord God, and whether they heed or resist, for they are a rebellious house, they shall know that a prophet has been among them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response real psalm. Your response. Our eyes are fixed on the Lord, pleading for his mercy. To you I lift up my eyes, who are enthroned in heaven as the eyes of servants are on the hands of their masters. Your response, our eyes are fixed on the Lord, pleading for his mercy. As the eyes of a maid are on the hands of her mistress, so are our eyes on the Lord, our God, till he have pity on us. Your response, our eyes are fixed on the Lord, pleading for his mercy. Have pity on us, O Lord, have pity on us, for we are more than sated with contempt. Our souls are more than sated with the mockery of the arrogant, with the contempt of the proud. Your response, our eyes are fixed on the Lord, pleading for his mercy. Second reading, a reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Chapter 12, verses 7 to 10. Brothers and sisters, that I, Paul, might not become too elated because of the abundance of the revelations. A thorn in the flesh was given to me, an angel of Satan to beat me, to keep me from being too elated. Three times I begged the Lord about this, that it might leave me. But he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for power is made perfect in weakness. I will rather boast most gladly of my weaknesses, in order that the power of Christ may dwell with me. Therefore, I am content with weaknesses, insults, hardships, persecutions, and constraints for the sake of Christ. For when I am weak, then I am strong. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. The spirit of the Lord is upon me, for he sent me to bring glad tidings to the poor. Alleluia, alleluia. Gospel. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark, chapter 6, verses 1 to 6. Jesus departed from there and came to his native place, accompanied by his disciples. When the Sabbath came, he began to teach in the synagogue, and many who heard him were astonished. They said, Where did this man get all this? What kind of wisdom has been given him? What mighty deeds are wrought by his hands? Is he not the carpenter, the son of Mary, and the brother of James and Joseph and Judas and Simon? And are not his sisters here with us? And they took offense at him. Jesus said to them, 
A prophet is not without honor except in his native place and among his own kin and in his own house. So he was not able to perform any mighty deed there apart from curing a few sick people by laying his hands on them. He was amazed at their lack of faith. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today's Gospel Reflection. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. The Gospel for today going through according to Mark 6, 1-6. to Jesus has arrived and made himself known as both God and the Savior of everyone who believes. However, some react to Jesus and his gospel with faith, while others find it offensive. Even though some people know Jesus well or believe they understand who he is, they are unable to recognize him as the one they truly need. My dear friends, even though the people of Nazareth knew Jesus, they remained blind to his true nature. To recognize and teach the true Christ, we must diligently consult the scriptures. Our need to know Jesus accurately and put all of our trust in him should be prompted by the Nazarene's lack of faith. Jesus should never be said to be amazed at our lack of faith. Let us pray. We have everything we could ever want and more in you, Lord Jesus. Grace, truth, liberty and abundant life are brought forth by your Spirit. Light up my heart with your truth and kindness. Amen. My dear friends, please do like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. God bless you.